Welcome to Fernville, where your dreams can come true. If you believe and want it badly enough. Fernville's finally hosting a singing competition, you guys. I can't wait. My biggest dream is to participate and sing the best I ever sang. Are you going to sign up for the singing competition, Rhonda? It's open to all animals, even if you're not a bird. I'm thinking of entering the competition. I do love to sing, even though I do it in private mostly. But I'm getting better. I'll have to tell my Uncle Polly. He migrated to Florida last winter. He'll probably fly back in for this. Does he still do that Tony Bennett impression? Every Friday and Saturday night at Beak Beach's Wings and Things. Cool! You should totally sign up. It'll be fun with all three of us competing. Maybe we could even perform as a trio. Wow, yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. I'd probably ruin both your chances. I'm a gorilla, and I've never sung in front of an audience in my life. Only under the waterfall. All by myself. Hey, I'll bet the acoustics are great under a waterfall. It probably lends your voice a really deep and super rich tone. I gotta try that. It's deep and rich, all right. It makes me sound like even more of a brute. If I beat my chest with my fists, you'd expect Tarzan to swing by on his vines. Oh, Rhonda, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure your voice is just lovely. Lovely, right. Well, listen. In this world, you can do anything you put your mind to. We all can. All you gotta do is want it, prepare for it, and give it your best shot. That's right. I, for one, can't wait to hear you sing, Rhonda. And if you'd like to perform with us, I'm all for it. Aw, shucks. Thanks, you guys. You sure know how to make a gal feel better. Come on. Let's go find out how we sign up for this competition. I think tryouts are coming soon. Yeah. Waiting in the water, the pond it's getting deep. And playing with an otter, and laughing with the sheep. My tail is whipping round, and my belly's feeling cool. My voice makes pretty sounds, my mama didn't raise no fool. Hey, that's some hot number you belt not there, hippo. You write that yourself? Oh, I didn't know anyone was listening. <laughs> I'm always listening, kid. It's my job to listen. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Ace Saltlick. I'm the talent scout from the famous producer, Marlon Pintop. You probably heard of him. Probably? Who hasn't heard of Marlon Pintop? Actually, I heard he was dead. Dead? Marlon? That's crazy talk. Don't believe everything you read, kid. Especially in those hippo papers. Dirt rags, all of them. Mr. Pintop took an extended vacation in Barbados, that's all. Got his release a hit single for three months, and these losers start writing him off. Marlin's slipping. Marlin's losing his touch. We've heard it all. Now, Marlin's dead. I can't wait to tell him that one. The boss gets a kick out of these things, let me tell you. What's your name? I'm Tiny. <laughs> Not really. It is. I'm Tiny. My name is Tiny. Any questions? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Tiny. Likewise. So, is Marlin working on anything new? Marlin? Working on anything new? Kid, Marlin's got ten plates in the air at any given time. Pick one. Oh, that's so good to hear. I loved his albums with Justin Timberwolf. They were my favorites growing up. You and everyone else, kid. You and everyone else. I got news for you. They collaborating again, as we speak. <gasps> really? Really. But that's between you and me. Don't tell anybody. Oh, I won't. My lips are sealed. A hippo's honor. Mr. Pintop will announce it when the time's right. Till then, they working. I'm scouting. Scouting? Scouting for what? I'm glad you asked, kid. I'm scouting for talent. Talent? Raw talent. The kind you can't manufacture in a studio. Oh. You mean real singers? Exactly. Well, good luck. There are lots of talented birds in Vernville. You ought to find Marshall and Mimi. They're the best. Hold on there, kid. Mr. Pintop's got his finger on the pulse of pop culture. 
And he says hippos are the next big thing. He does? Figuratively speaking. Oh, my. Who are we to argue, right? His track record speaks for itself. Yes, it sure does. And I'll tell you one more thing. He's got his eye on this upcoming singing competition. He does? He does. Kid, how would you like to land an in-person audition with Marlon Pintop? How would I? It would be a dream come true. But, oh, but I, I could never. Why not? I'm just a hippopotamus. Ha, <laughs> true that. But look, get your song down and come to Marlon Pintop's office at 6 o'clock sharp. He'll hear you out one-on-one, -on -one, let you know where you stand. Oh my, is this, is this really happening? If I had a banana for every time I heard that, I'd be one big monkey. Should I sing a particular style, or just whatever I'm best at? Sing what you feel, kid. If it doesn't come from the heart, scrap it. Cause it ain't gonna be good enough. Marlon doesn't just listen to the notes and keys. He listens to your soul. Oh. It's true what they say about him, you know. He's a genius. With a once in a lifetime eye for talent. I don't doubt it. Oh dear. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Wrinkles them butterflies, Tiny. Rookies choke, but pros deliver. You want to take the next step in your career? It's time to rise to the occasion. Yes. This is the first step in the rest of your life, Tiny. We'll expect to see you at the castle at six sharp. But, uh, if Timberwolf calls, your audition is off, got it? Oh, okay. I'd reschedule any time Marlon could see me. It's no problem. Well, you're not listening. I didn't say he'll reschedule you. I said he'll cancel you. That'll be the end of your shot. Maybe you could clean up the studio at the end of the day, but that's about it. Oh, I see. On Marlon Pintops and Justin Timberwolf's level, you can pretty much call your own shots. That's show business, kid. But hey, look at the bright side. A minute ago, you were singing to the gnats. Now, you're rubbing shanks with legends. See you at six. Oh, okay. What an amazing opportunity. Oh, thank you, Ace. Six sharp. You're a second late, you lose your slot. No second chances. Got it. Now, finish that song of yours for me. I like what I was hearing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the sun is sinking low. Dark shadows cross the land. The horse lies in his stable, but the cows, they always stand. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Wow, that was incredible, Mimi. Your pitch, your key, every note. Your voice is perfect. Oh, Marshall, thank you so much. But don't say those things. You're making me self-conscious. Well, I wouldn't say it if it weren't true, Mims. I have a confession to make. A confession? What is it? I'd be just as happy being eliminated by you as I would be by winning it all. And, Mimi, I hope you win. Marshall, that's so sweet of you. But I have to admit, I hope that you win. Well, I guess both of our chances of winning just doubled. <laughs> hey, hey Dave. Dave! Hey, guys, did you hear the news? What news? Tiny got called up to Marlon Pintop's office for a singing audition. Whoa, really? I thought Marlon Pintop was dead. No, nope. apparently he was just on vacation. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's terrible news. Yeah. It's awful. I mean, not about Pintop being alive, of course. Of course. You guys aren't happy for her? We would be. 
If it were an audition for anybody but Marlon Pintop. Yeah, Pintop's a real snake. He's an anteater, actually. You know what I mean, Woody. The last thing a nice hippo like Tiny needs is to get mixed up with that creep Marlin or any of his fame hounds. Right. Tiny's such a sweet hippo. Innocent and kind, and she's aspired to sing forever. Pintop's done this kind of thing before. He always tricks unsuspecting animals into paying him to groom their careers, as if they have careers to groom. We ought to warn Tiny not to waste her time with that jerk. But, Marshall, wait. Do you think the truth will shatter Tiny's dreams of singing? I think what she'll be subjected to in that office will demoralize her more than anything we might say. You're right. Let's go find her now. Before she makes a mistake, she can't take back. I wish I could take back my mistake. Your mistake? What mistake did you make, Woody? When I was young, Marlin told me I had golden pipes and was destined for stardom. He told me I was gonna go far. Only, I didn't know just how far he was talking about. Oh no! What happened, Woody? Marlin booked me a singing gig aboard a Starlight Cruise Line ship that set sail the next day. 21 shows a week. Hmm, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. What went wrong? The ship never docked. We circled the ocean for months on end. We ran out of food, and I ended up getting polyps on my vocal cords and lost my voice. But they still wouldn't give me a break. I had to start every show on time, every time. And take requests. And do encores. It was like a nightmare. Woody, that's horrible. How did you manage to get out of it? I bided my time, waited till I caught sight of land, then jumped overboard and swam for it. You what? That sounds dangerous. It was. It was like a five-mile backstroke through shark-infested waters. Good thing I'm an otter. Slick and speedy. Otherwise, I'd have been a goner for sure. Let's go talk to Tiny. Right. Let's go. I'm so excited about this audition, Rhonda. It could be the start of something big. The fulfillment of all my dreams since I was a wee hippo. Be careful, Tiny. I mean, why is this scout so interested in you if you've never even sung in public before? Because he heard something in my voice. Something that told him I could be a star. They're trained to recognize this kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I still think it's strange. Marshall, Mimi, I have great news to tell you. We know. We heard. You did? About Marlon Pintop? We did. But how? Woody told us. Woody? That eavesdropping river otter. I should have known. He's always slinking around. Oh, well. Isn't it great? Hmm. We don't think you should go, Tiny. What? But... Why? Marlon Pintop's no good. Everybody in Fernville knows that. He tells lies, plays games, and takes advantage of animals. And what he did to poor Woody was unforgivable. You mean the cruise ship story? It changes a little every time he tells it. It started off being a two-day cruise that ran an hour later than planned. Then it turned into a fuel problem. Then it turned into a capsizing boat. Then a 10-yard swim to shore. Then a two-mile swim to shore. Then a swim through piranha-infested waters. Then through jellyfish-infested waters. Then shark-infested waters. That's the version we heard. Five miles with sharks. Ha, huh, well, my Aunt Bertha was on that cruise, and she told me what really happened. She said Woody got distracted by a school of fish and dove overboard during his opening number, ruining the night's entertainment for all the guests. They threw lifesavers and circled back for him, but he wouldn't stop chasing fish. He swam around and around like a lunatic until he exhausted himself and had to be hauled back on board like a wet rag. Wow. That sounds more feasible, actually. And Marlon Pintop had nothing to do with that cruise, other than holding a standing reservation that he never filled because he said Starlight Cruise Lines weren't classy enough for him and his entourage. I can believe that. Although Woody's version of events sure sounded feasible. Either way... Marlon Pintop has done lots of animals wrong and crushed countless dreams in the name of fame and fortune. Right. You should think long and hard about it, Tiny, before you decide. Thank you for your concern, guys. It's nice to have friends like you who care, but I can take care of myself. Honest. Why don't you let me go with you, Tiny? <gasps> Mimi, no! I do appreciate the offer, Mimi, but you're a songbird. I can't take you to my private audition. 
If Marlin heard you sing, he'd send me packing as soon as you open your beak. She's got a point, Memes. We must ensure Tiny's safety. I know. I'll take Rondo with me. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right. If nothing comes of it, at the very least, we'll have a story to tell about that time we went to an audition for famous superstar producer Marlon Pintop. Or about that time you went to audition for famous superstar producer Marlon Pintop, and I just played third wheel. Insignificant detail. What do you say, Rhonda? Girls Day Out? Oh, okay. Yay! Yay! But if anyone invites me to sing, I'm gonna belt it out loud and proud. I'd expect nothing less, sister. Come on, we have a trip to plan. Mm, don't forget, Minnie and I will be here in case you need us. All you have to do is reach out and... Call your pals. We'll be here if you need... We'll be here if you need... I'm telling you, Marlin, this hippo kid's got a voice like claws on a chalkboard. But in a totally messed up way, she's got style. With a little nudge this way and a big shove that way, you might good turn her into something. I'm a very busy anteater, Ace. You know this. But I'll humor your find this time. Thanks, Marlin. You won't regret it. Well, I think so, anyway. We'll see about that. Either way, it's no skin off my snout. I have a brand new protege who's gearing up to take the world by storm. You do? Mind if I ask who it is, boss? Not at all. Everyone will find out soon enough anyway. I'm telling you, Ace, this kid's got billion dollar pipes. He sings, he croons, he screams, he raps, he does it all. His take on the oldies is effortless. His pop is poppin'. His freestyle's clean. This kid's a once-in-a-lifetime find. He's got star written all over him. Hopefully he didn't write it in permanent marker. I didn't mean it was literally written on him. I meant the kid oozes charisma. He sweats raw talent. The mic and the camera both love him. Wow, he sounds like something else, boss. What's his name? His name's Brad. Brad? That's it? Just Brad? Of course, that's not it. He may have been born Brad, but now that I've got a hold of him, he'll be known as Lil Wings Fresh Quills. Lil Wings Fresh Quills. I love it. Something memorable. Artistic chic combined with instant street cred. Marlon, you're a genius. Of course I am. You just wait and see, Ace. On the strength of Lil Wings, Lil Wings, I'm headed straight back to the top of the charts. Nice. Now, let's have some fun with this hippo of yours. Absolutely. It's almost six. She should be here any minute. I made a point to tell her not to be a second late. Ha! I really love it when they sweat the clock. It really brings out the desperation in their eyes. I know, right? How much longer? A little on foot? A little while longer. It's all the way in the city, Rhonda. Nervous, huh? Nervous? Nah. I'm scared to death. There's nothing to be scared of. We'll just go in, you'll give it your best shot, have fun, and let the bananas fall where they may. But what if things go wrong? What if Marlon doesn't like me? What if I forget my verses? What if I choke? Tiny. All you ever have to do is follow your instincts and listen to your heart. You think so? I know so. Ah, you're right. Let's go. You think Tiny and Rhonda made it to Pinta by now? If not, they should arrive any time. I hope this thing's legit and Tiny has a good time. Me too. I just want to see them both get back home safe and not too disappointed. Sup, players? Lil Wing's up in here. How y'all keeping it? Excuse me? A lot of folks got that reaction to Lil. <laughs> know what I'm saying? That's all right. Here, I'll lay down a little something-something. Fresh like a river salmon. Wait, what's happening? You see me creeping like a panther. Creeping, creeping. Chasing Jedi's like a panther. Reaping, reaping. Come here, doorstep, but I ain't got no invitation. Mixing styles like salad, then I add more capers. Wow. Ah, pretty fly, right? For an eagle. My second track talks all about that. Here's a sample. Oh, no, that's okay. My daddy was an eagle and my mama a dove. 
They soared high in the skies before they fell in love. Seven brothers and a sister in a nest with three? You thought you knew about bird life? Then y'all met me. My head hurts. What did you say your name was again, mister? The Wings Fresh Quills, my name. Smashing suckers and bumping tracks, my game. Ah, I see. Have you smashed any suckers lately, Mr. Quills? Just y'all. And y'all can call me Lil Wings. Or L. Or Dub. Or Freshy. Or Q. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> no problem, Softy. Softy? Yep. Y'all soft. You heard me? Well, I mean, we're songbirds. Oh, I see that. Y'all need to find a bird cage and get on in. Know what I'm saying? Lil Wings Fresh Quills is blasting through. With mad new style and catchy rhymes for you. Standing in the midway, y'all gonna get hurt. I don't write nothing down, think it up and blurt. Obviously. Are you here for the singing competition tryouts? Pshaw, show sure enough. Y'all spectating? No, we're singing. <laughs> get out, y'all. Yeah, us. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. Y'all's like little pigeons in that. Picking breadcrumbs up outside the deli. Cluck, 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 cluck. For your information, chickens go cluck, cluck. And you don't know us. We were singing in the bird choir when you were still picking your name off of a scrabble board. Ugh, I like that. I'ma steal that from you. Feel free. Free as a bird. I'm coming in like kamikaze. Surprise you in your window, I'd be yelling, yo, Yahtzee. Try your black up lines and lock your cages tight. If you battling dub, gon' be a long, long night. That's off my third single called Droppings in Your Eye. What exactly do you want, Lil Wings? Why are we talking? I just seen y'all hanging out here and was gonna invite you to watch the tryouts. I mean, I mean, I ain't trying out so much as sampling some of my new material, so it's more an exclusive private show for those in attendance, really. Well, thanks for thinking of us, Mr. Quills, but we'll see you on stage. Have it your way, softy. But know this, all ye who enter here, that dry beak and shaky feathers is only fear of going up against the eagle when you're all just sparrows, you throwing spitballs, but I got flaming arrows. Can't touch me. Huh, later, suckers. Wow. There are no words. Well, well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. Good luck, Tiny. <gasps> you have to say break a leg. Good luck's bad luck in show business. Okay, break a leg. Break all your legs. Just one will do. Right. So in one place or like multiple fractures? Just the break. No more detail required. Oh, okay. Tick, tock, tock. Like sand through the hourglass of your hopes and dreams, kid. You're late. Oh, sorry, Mr. Pinta, but you see, we come from the jungle. We? Who's the ape? That's my friend Rhonda. Rhonda? Say, anybody ever tell you you look like King Kong? You should try for the movies. Uh, thanks? Now, Hippo, are you ready to seize your dreams by the horns? Are you ready to take control of your destiny? Are you ready to turn fantasy into reality? Y yes What? I can't hear you. Yes. What? Yes. Very well, then. Wasting your time waste my time, Tiny. And Marlin Pintop detests wasting time. Do you understand? Yes. Are you ready to sing for me? Yes. Do you have a song prepared? Yes. Then let's hear it. R right now? Can you believe that Lil Wings character? What a clown! Lil Wings Fresh Quills? Huh, as goofy as he was, we'll probably remember him forever. How can we forget? He was totally ridiculous. Tiny, Rhonda, you're back! How did it go? Terrible. Marlin only called me out there to make fun of me. It was totally humiliating. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Tiny. How terrible! You both warned me. It's nothing I shouldn't have seen coming. I should have listened to you guys in the first place and spared myself the embarrassment. Oh, Tiny, it's nothing you should have dealt with at all. You're better than that. I can see that now. Success sure isn't all that it's cracked up to be. On the contrary, Tiny, there's nothing wrong with success or accomplishments. 
It's other people's perception of your success that's the problem. Well, I've learned my lesson. I don't want to be a singer anymore. If being in the show business means dealing with monsters like Marlin, it's not worth it. I'll let talented performers like you birds do the singing. And I'll cheer you on. That sounds nice, Tiny. And look at it this way. At least you realize what's really important in life, and you didn't have to waste any time wallowing in the wrong ponds to do it. Performing is fun, but friends and family are forever. That's right. Imagine this. That creep told me I reminded him of King Kong. Can you believe it? Hmm. Well... Hey, gang, are y'all headed to the singing competition tryout? Oh, when are they? Right now, on stage in Fernville Town Square. Whoa, with all these distractions, we almost just missed the tryouts. Are you guys still going to get up and strut your stuff? Hmm. hmm. After Tiny's bad experience, I'm not so sure. Oh, you should, both of you. You birds are such great singers. Don't let my story about some two-bit bully keep you from singing the song in your hearts. That's right. Sing it loud. Okay, okay. I'm convinced. Let's go, memes. Okay, I'm in. Great. There's still time to enter. All right, everybody. Welcome to the singing competition open mic tryouts. Come one, come all. Show what you got and see where you stand. If this year's like our past years, we're looking forward to an entertaining afternoon of talented songsmiths and crazy crooners. Now, like I said, this stage is open. Don't let the spotlight deter you. If you have a song on your lips, come up and let us hear it. You never know what could happen. You might even be the next Clambake Shelton. Or Gwen Starfishy. Woohoo! I'm raring to go. Let's do this. I know you just had a terrible time with Pintop Tiny, but why don't you get up there and sing for everyone? You'll feel better. And whether you advance or not, you'll do it on your own terms. I think that's a great idea. I don't know. I've been thinking maybe songwriting is for me. Performing is so much pressure. Who needs it? Listen, what is that? <laughs> Emmett. Is that you? Are you nervous, buddy? I've always wanted to sing, but I, I've never been on stage before. It, it's so bright. I, I didn't know it'd be so bright. It's okay. Just sing to us. We're your friends. Yeah, focus on us and block out everything else. Well, what if I get heckled? What if they start throwing stuff? <laughs> it's not that kind of crowd, Emmett. Trust me. Okay, here we go. This young eagle insists on being the afternoon's first singer. And he wanted me to tell you all that he's normally much, and I stress much, harder edged than he'll show us here today. Please give a warm Fernville welcome to Little Wings Fresh Quilts. Uh, on second thought, Emmett... Maybe wait a minute and see how things go. Yeah, hang tight, buddy. Yo, what'd you call me? Uh, Little Wings Fresh Quilts? It's Lil, dog. Lil, Lil Wings Fresh Quilts, you heard me? Fresh Quilts. Oh, I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, put your paws, hooves, and wigs together for Lil Wings Fresh Quills! Yeah, one, two, one, two. Wait till you guys get a load of this. Who's this joker? Oh, you'll see. Yeah, but you might wish you hadn't. My name is Wings. See, you want to step to me? I'll wrap you under the table, wrap you back to your tree. I got the widest wingspan in this whole darn land. All you falcons and owls, you better understand. My beak is sharp, my eyes it's keen. Man, you know what I mean. And when I saw y'all once or more, and when I dive, y'all feel alive. So now throw your wings in the air. I said, yeah, throw them wings in the air. You want to fly with me? Well, come outside with me. All you suckers in the crowd, you cannot hide from me. From the mountains and the treetops to the bay. Yeah, little wings, fresh quills is here to stay. Yeah, Boom. that's a mic drop, suckers. 
Wow. Oh, my goodness. We warned you. It's okay if you need a minute to regroup. Oh, man. I don't know if that was good or bad or what. All I know is I can't follow it. I need to reevaluate my life. I'm going home, guys. What? Come on, Em. You've been looking forward to this competition ever since it was announced. That's right. I've been listening to you practice for weeks. And I've lost countless hours of sleep listening to you practice. We all have. You guys don't use earplugs? No. Do they help? I sleep like a baby bird. Don't hear a thing. Oh, that makes me feel better. Don't take it personally, Emmett. Some of us just need peace and quiet to fall sound asleep. Not warbling and screeching. Come on, little buddy. Get up there and do a song. I was gonna until I saw that last guy. What's his name again? Phil Sings and Wash His Quilks? Lil Wing's Fresh Quills. Yeah, that. I just can't compete with that, guys. I was thinking it'd be a fun afternoon singing songs with my best friends. Not that. It's all too, I don't know, careerist for my taste. Okay, Em, if you're sure. I'm sure. I just want to sit on my rock and listen to the wind whistle through the trees. That's music to my ears. You don't have ears, Emmett. I have ear holes. I can hear just fine. We understand, Emmett. We'll see you later after tryouts are over. Okay. Later, guys! Too bad Lil Wings went first. His performance broke Emmett mentally. Yeah, it's too bad. If we could have taken the first slots, I bet he'd have had a great time. Show business. It's for the birds. Okay! That was Lil Wings' fresh quills. And next up is... Anybody? Anybody at all! Sing any song you like, any way you like it. Any style, any tempo, any genre, any at all. Solo, duet, or group. Everyone and anyone is welcome. Don't get cold paws, hooves, fins, or wings. Just let the music move you. Now, once again, who's next? Shall we? Let's go get them. Knock them dead. Okay, we've all been waiting for these two to show up. What's a singing competition without the songbirds, right? Am I right? <laughs> Say hello to Marshall and Mimi. Take it away, birdies. <clears throat> well, looky here. Them two don't stand a bird's chance on a helicopter pad. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Ah, that's offensive. Those are our friends up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to entertainment, toots. That sounded like bird droppings, know what I'm saying? Ain't no way they sound better than little wings, you heard? I'm gonna win it all, mark my words, win it all!
That was so much fun. How'd we sound? Great. Super duper. Awesome. Hey, Lil Wings. <sniffs> Ooh, somebody's not happy. That jerk had the audacity to come up and badmouth you guys. Yeah, to your best friends, no less. We set him straight. That's right. Well, you know what they say. The loudest bird in the forest is usually the most insecure. Wow. I mean, just wow. Marshall and Mimi, you birds have outdone yourselves. We'll be listening again in the championship round, I'm sure. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, moving right along. I ask you, Fernville, who's next? Step right up. I see you all out there thinking about it, thinking about it. I see monkeys, I see hippos, I see orangutans, I see capuchins, I see macaques. I even see river trout. There's no shame here, only melodies. So let's hear what you got. Bring it. Hey, Tiny, what do you say? Want to have some fun? Sure, why not? Yeah. Let him hear it, girls. All right, look who we have here. Now, stop me if you've heard this one before. A hippo and a gorilla walk on stage. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away, girls. Ready, Tiny? <sighs> as ready as I'll ever be. You got up and sang for everyone, Tiny. Ditto. Did it feel good? It felt great. I'm glad I did it, too. Thanks for twisting my ear, Rhonda. I don't think I would have done it without you. Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. Well, I want to take this opportunity to thank all you guys. You're all so important to me. Today's really made me see that even though we might have had bad days, misfortunes, or setbacks once in a while, it's never the end of the world, and the only one who can beat us is us. Shout it out loud, sister! If I wasn't surrounded by good friends who care about me, that visit to Pintop's office probably would have put me off singing forever. It was so horrible. Poor Tiny. But now I see that it was just a thing. And not my thing at all. If other folks want to live that way and spend their time around those kinds of folks, they can have it. I'm going to sing whenever I feel like it. For my friends, for my loved ones, for anyone who's moved and motivated by music. That's the tiny we all know and love. Yeah, welcome back, girl. I knew your fire hadn't been extinguished. You're right, it's burning brighter than ever. And I can't wait for the competition finals. It's going to be so fun. Marlin, you said I was a shoe-in. You said Lil Wings was taking the world by storm, but them stupid birds got the better of me in front of everybody. Calm down, Q. Calm down. Stardom ebbs and flows. You've got to know how to ride your wave. Huh? What wave? You mean a typhoon's fixing to hit our jungle? <sighs> it means there's levels to this. Oh. Well, I done got showed up, bird. I ain't used to hearing boos, know what I'm saying? I mean, they was cheering too, but I heard them boos, y'all. Delicy! That's right, Q. It's important to realize, no matter how hot you are, or how hard you crush it, there will be folks out there whose only vested interest is in seeing you fail. Suckers. Straight suckers. Tune them out, Q. Relegate them to the background where they belong. It's just white noise. What if that noise catches on, though? Like, 
What if they start booing me whenever I turn up like it becomes a thing to boo Lil Wings? Then we turn it against them. The pop culture game isn't hard to play, Q. What you mean, Marlin? If they start booing you at events, we'll cut a new single. Boo the Q! Catchy as all get out, with a hook that sticks in their ears for days, like a bee sting. We'll reinvent those boos, turning them into the way they cheer for you. Then it won't matter if the whole planet boos you from every mountaintop. It'll only mean they're getting down to the new Q. Can you dig it? Uh, yeah, I can dig that. <laughs> Mind blowing, Marlin. You're such a genius. My eyes are twitching. Take a baby aspirin. Okay. The sooner you wrap your head around the idea that you're a star, Q, you'll be unstoppable. Remember, stars aren't made, they're born. I see what you did there. Shut up, Ace. Yep. First stop, we win that singing competition and show Fernville what real talent sounds like. Next stop, we drop your new album on the world and start climbing the charts. By my top 200 mathematical calculations, your first single will hit number one on week three. Week three? Nah. Why are we gonna wait? It should hit right away. Boom! Like boom! As soon as they hear it, like, uh, uh, uh-huh, uh. I'm Lil Wings and I sings, but my game is big. Step to me and you'll see, bird, I'll split your wig. I spin these verses like a top, I be casting magic. You be dancing front row or you be sad and tragic. You sure about this kid, boss? I am but we may need a little extra help. I think it's time we called our old friend, Tony Riptide. <gasps> T-Rib, he's no friend, Marlin. He's a conniving monster, a backstabbing beast. He's a vicious shark, literally. That's right, Ace. And a vicious shark is exactly what we need to handle the feathery problem down here in Fernville. Ring him at once, have him come to the office. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Y'all want to hear more? I think this is gold, bird. Indeed, Q. Drop it on us. Let your bird versus flow, youngster. In competition, you'll be wishing that the lights go out. I'm shining bright, brighter, brightest. Hear him screech and shout. Flap your wings in the air like you just don't care. The girls be crying and fainted. See him falling down there. More forceful, angrier. Make us feel it. I'll fan my tail and make it rain. Got vengeance on my brain. From my beak it's coming raw. you hear my ca ca ca. Okay, guys. To prepare for the singing competition, we gotta start running some basic vocal exercises to get sharp and stay ready. Let's begin with the lip buzz. Simply vibrate your lips together without worrying about pitch. This will help us build up our breathing and stamina while we're singing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It is kinda. Okay, now let's try our M's. Our M's? Yes, sticking to one note, also called monotone, sing ma me mi mo mu nice and slow really pronouncing those m's it should sound like this ma me mi mo mu now you guys try it mm ma me mi mu mu ma me mi mo mu ma me mi mo mu Great! I really like that one. My lips are tingling. Feels like I just ate Pop Rocks. I didn't know hippos had lips. Or that they ate Pop Rocks? I know, right? Us hippos are chock full of surprises. Okay, we're gonna sing a little tune. All right. Wanna give it a try? Yeah! Okay, we're gonna sing I Love to Sing. We'll start at the root, then hit the octave, and come back down on the fifth third, and root of the chord again. I have no idea what any of that means. Can we just sing? <laughs> sure, Tiny. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah! Hold up, hold up, hold up! What? 
If you want to learn to sing, then sing this with me. I got mad skills for miles as far as your eyes can see. What talent? Show enough. Get closer, softy. Maybe it'll rub off. I'm good, thanks. So good to see you again, Tony. How have you been? Fool! They opened the beach early this year. You know how it goes. Right place, right time. Good for you. I called him here because I have a little problem down in Fernville. Fernville? Ain't no body of water in Fernville. Just creeks and streams. You'd have to drive me in hidden in a natural gas tanker, for instance. Then make sure whoever you don't like falls into my tank. Devious. I like your style, Tony. Always have. But I had something else in mind. Something more... embarrassing. Oh, yeah? I'd rather eat folks than bully them, but hey, it's your money. Yes, it is. And a nice chunk of it can be yours if you help me. I know you have friends in low places, Tony. Friends who can ensure that two pampered, pompous, precocious birds learn their place. And above all, that they choke on stage in that singing competition. If they make it on stage at all, guarantee me that, and I can make it worth your while. Worth my while? That's music to my gills. Where do we start? You have a certain friend who performs powerful magic, am I right? Powerful magic? Do I ever? A word of warning, though. My friends are real bad news. Tony... It just so happens that bad news is exactly what we need. Then say no more, pent up. Stay no more. Why don't you make like a jet and take off, Lil Wings? Nobody wants to talk to you. Good. Then I can do all the talking. You feel me? I feel nauseous is what I feel. Butterflies in your belly turn your legs to jelly. When I come on in the room, I make your speakers go boom. Seriously, Lil Wings, what do you want? Or do you just get your kicks by annoying us? My kicks cost more than your nest, street bird. My only droppings are signs. My only data is words. So your point is? My point is... Drop out of the singing competition where you still got songs to sing, softies. What's that supposed to mean? It means a means to an end. I'll make your wings go flutter, y'all can fly with me, or crash land in the gutter. <laughs> We're not getting anywhere with this. You guys want to go run our exercises someplace else? Yes, please. Later, Lil Wings. We'll see you on stage. <laughs> You'll be seeing me, I... Enjoy your exercises, softies. Hey, hey! So, this is your friend, yeah? It's not a good idea to come on with that jabbering industry talk, Marlin. You're not in a studio, or even in an alley behind the studio. You're out of your element. Let me do the talking, until things calm down. Calm down? How can things get calmer than this? This is paradise. Everything's chill. I pay a lot of money to take this kind of vacation five times a year. I know my way around paradise, Tony. There's absolutely nothing to be concerned about. Ah. Oh, easy, buddy, easy. He doesn't mean that. It's just the way he is. He's just brash. What's he doing there? Is he showing us some spec magic? Good, good. I love talents that work on spec. They gotta prove themselves after all. Nothing's for free. Hey, if this works out, tell him I'll get him booked on the evening show with Jimmy Falcon. <laughs> Whoa, ha <laughs> ha. Surprised me there. Nice trick. What else can this big fly trap do? Pintop, I wouldn't. Well, I would. That's why I'm me and you're you, Tony. Now, come on. Let me see the good stuff. Let me see some damage. You shouldn't say that. I'll say whatever I want. I'm paying you, remember? <coughs> ah! You asked for it. Uh, okay, I get it. I'm good now. <laughs> Pintop, meet Nom Nom, my friend who does magic. <coughs> All righty. All good here. 
Let's not get too carried away now, Mr. Nam Nam. Now you've done it! Done what? What have I done? You made Nom Nom mad! You're on borrowed time, Pintop! Me too, if you don't get on with it and tell him what you want. He ain't happy I brought you. Not happy you... Does he know who I am? <laughs> Yeesh, he's agile. Talk to him, Pintop. Talk to him. All right, all right. Mr. Nam Nam, my name is Marlon Pintop, world-famous music producer and industry impresario. Nom <laughs> I have this kid who's going to be a huge star, and I want him to win the Farnville Singing Competition, but these pesky, marginally talented birds are a threat to upstage him, and we can't have that. We gotta win this thing to secure his debut as the Animal Kingdom's most gifted entertainer ever, or else they might clamor for more of these winged goofs and not my boy, Little Wings. Little Wings? That's his name. Well, Little Wings Fresh Quills is his full name, not his real name. His real name's Brad. Nobody knows that but us. And now you. Whoa! This plant talks! Keep going, Pintop. Num Num isn't big on patience. Right. I gotta stop these Farnville freaks from screwing up our big plans. So I was thinking of a sneaky magic spell that had ruined their ability to stay on key and sing anything even remotely good, shattering their hopes and dreams so thoroughly and absolutely that they won't even dare compete against Lil Wings. And if they do, they're so utterly humiliated, it's the last time any of them sing any more for anyone ever again. Whew. Is that it? <sighs> That's it. That's all we came to ask, Nom Nom. What do you say, big guy? Nom Nom hates Fernville. So, that's a yes? Nom destroy! Yes! Yes! Okay, Marshall, you're up next. What song would you like to sing? I'm gonna try that old deep goodie we all know and love. Your nest is like a cloud nine to me. Cool, I love that one. Me too. Take it away, buddy. Whenever you're ready. Ahem. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Girl, this nest is coarse and rough. Girl, this ain't no nest for me. Girl, it's getting mighty tough. Girl, to make them rub and see. I flew around in circles, but it made me sad. Heard you tripping in the pan. And it made me glad, girl. If this bird could just, just fly over the sea, girl. Your nest is like a cloud, not to me. Stop right there, Marshall. Was that the same song? It sounded different. That was weird. I had a frog in my throat or something. Uh, yeah, that sounded pretty weird. Drink some water or something and let me give it a shot. Go for it. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Boy, I see you flying high. Boy, the apple of my eye. Oh, no. Hang on. Something is wrong. I think we're off key. Off key? How's that possible? We're birds. We're always on key. You were both pretty far off key. Yeah, you were. That's strange. We know that song like the back of our wings. Why don't we try another one? How about... Goril, you drive me bananas. By the bamboo shoots? Yeah. Okay. Is that the one that goes? Running on my knuckles, beating my chest in the rain. Miss you so much, monkey. Think that I might go insane. Um, I mean, it doesn't really sound like that. Something about this stinks, you guys. How in the world can we forget how to stay on key? Nobody just wakes up one day and forgets how to sing. Nobody but us, apparently. And the singing competition is right around the corner. What are we going to do? Drink hot tea. Gargle with salt water. One thing's for sure. We need to figure this out. And fast. There's no time to waste. I know. Let's go see the music teacher who made us fall in love with singing in the first place. Who's that? Professor, Professor Harper. Harper. Great, Scott. This is a quantum conundrum indeed. No one's ever regressed this dramatically in their ability to sing on key. Ever. Oh, great. 
So, we've solidified our spot as the biggest failures to ever graduate your class? We're sorry, Professor Harper. We don't know what's wrong, and we don't know where else to turn. Well, just from speaking with you for five minutes, I can see you've completely forgotten music theory, chord progressions, vocal warm-ups, and drawn an absolute blank on any of the songs you used to know by heart. I don't get it. Are we stupid? No, Marshall, you're not stupid. Neither of you. I fear the source of your issues is far more malevolent than simple idiocy. What could it be, Professor? I believe you two have been assailed by a hex. A, a hex? hex? That's correct. Some secret party has leveled a magical curse upon your heads in a misguided effort to spoil your chances in that singing contest. Oh, no! But why us? What did we ever do to anybody? I'm afraid that's a question only you two pigeons can answer. Have you harbored any enemies in Fernville? Anyone with whom you've experienced friction or ill will? <gasps> yes, that jerk Lil Wings. And that creep, Merlin Pintop. Oh, dear. If you run afoul of Mr. Pintop, I fear this hex may be more difficult to snap than simple reverse magic. He's incredibly petty. He's known to hold grudges for years, even decades. Oh, great. How can we ever overcome this? We're doomed! Not necessarily, Marshall. If indeed this is the nature of your problem, there may still be a way. It's a long shot, but if we've guessed correctly, it may be your only hope. Tell us, Professor. Tell us what to do. You must venture forth and find the only creature in our land with the ability to lift the Dark Hex. Radella the Fairy Snail. Radella? Tell us, where can we find this fairy snail, Professor? You don't. If indeed there's a hex upon your heads, Radella will find you. Leave town, taking the dirt road that leads north. If she smells dark magic, she'll emerge to confront you and combat it. What if she doesn't emerge? Then I suppose you're both out of luck, and you may never sing again. Off you go. Good luck to you both. Oh, Marshall, what if this Radella isn't willing or able to help us? What if Professor Harper was right and we never sing again? Then, I guess Lil Wing's Fresh Quill will win that competition and Marlon Pintop will be the measuring stick of musical talent forever. That's a terrible thought, just terrible. I wonder how much farther we have to go. We could go another 10 feet or we could go until the drop. There's no way to tell. I'm gonna stop asking you questions you only make things worse. What can I say? I'm dropping truth. This is it, everyone. The eve of the big show and the dawn of the biggest star to come out of what they call Fernville. Lil Wing's Fresh Quills. I come out swinging at the bell, singing pop, 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 pop. Double with rhythm and bubble with rhyme. Your jaws drop, drop, drop. Save it for the competition, Q. Soak it in and bask in the glory, because after that, the real work begins. You mean we're gonna start recording my second album already, Marlon? No, we're going to update your image. You've been wearing that same shirt since I've known you. This shirt's fly. <laughs> you don't see these nowhere. Yes, and when we're finished, you really won't see it nowhere. Boss, I've been thinking. I thought I smelled fire. I was afraid one of these sconces sparked the blinds again. Uh, right. Hey, wh what do you think about finding some new voices in the outback? I can set some traps in the underbrush and record them yelling when their toes and tails get caught. You can review them and really get a feel for the animal's raw skills. Then, if you like one, I'll go snatch them and bring them back here. You can lock them up and work with them around the clock. In-house, homegrown talent. What's this thing? That's also called kidnapping. Let the boss talk, Toosie. You better never go for a swim, goofy face. Enough. My plate's full right now, Ace. But way to think outside the box. Keep it up. Thanks, Marlin. I will. Did you give any more shots to that ape, Rhonda? No, none at all. Oh, well, I think she could be a megastar. She's got the look and the swagger. My swag's up in your face. It's going bling, bling, bling. Quit calling up my place phone going ring, ring, ring. I got microphones for miles because I sing, sing, sing. Fabric softener on my shirt so don't cling, cling, cling. Work on that last line. Aw, oh, you don't like it? No. I, I could do like...
I knock you out with one big punch, the bell goes ding, ding, ding. Overdone. Aight, um, you like my bling, bird wing, and I'm like sing, sing, sing. You're all crazy, you know that? Crazy like a fox, I got sharp fangs and claws. You flippin' floppin' out the water, now what's up, Jaws? Whoa, look at that thing, Mimi. I think it's one of those flytrap plants. Be careful, Marshall, it's huge. Don't get too close to it. It can detect vibrations all around itself. It can snap us up without even looking. Now! Uh-oh, I think it heard you. Back away slowly. We don't want to wake it up. Okay. Now! Whoa! I don't want to be plant lunch. Stop! Huh? Who said that? Back, Seed Spawn! Back, Conjurer! <sighs> hey, birds! I'm Radella. I think you're looking for me. <gasps> Rodella? Yes, we've been searching high and low for you. Need some help? Yes, we do. Okay, hang on a sec while I take care of this weed. No. Ah! Yikes! Is that all you got, Green Bean? Now, shoo! <laughs> Not today, Sprout. Just go now, or you'll have to deal with Rodella. <laughs> She did it! Radella did it! She saved us! Thanks, Radella. We don't know what we'd have done if you hadn't come along. You'd be halfway digested by now. Probably still alive and... We don't need to hear specifics, please. Phew! That was a close call. Welcome to my turf. Not exactly Fernville, huh? Now, what brings you two birds all the way out here looking for little old me? We're birds, and we're good singers. But we've completely forgotten how to carry a tune, match pitch, or stay in key. We think we might have been hexed. Oh, there's no mind of about it. You two are trailing a dark cloud as wide as this jungle itself. <gasps> We are? Oh, yeah. I picked up on it hours ago. Could smell it from miles away. Got here as fast as I could, but I'm a snail, you know. I only move so quick. We understand. Is there anything you can do to help us? As a matter of fact, there is. Ordinarily, this would be a tough hex to break. But seeing as how your hexer lives in this jungle, we should be able to lift it. <gasps> Who is it? Nam Nam. But we don't even know him. We've never seen him before in our lives. It wasn't his idea. He's nothing more than a mercenary plant. You have sneakier enemies who want to see you fail. They're the ones who negotiated your hex. They are your real problem. Yes, and we think we know exactly who they are. More than Pintop and Little Wings. If you'd like, we can not only lift the hex off your heads, but we can place it upon the heads of those who would do you wrong. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, let's. Done. Let's get started, birds. This is it, Fernvillians! The day you've all been waiting for! Welcome, one and all, to the hotly anticipated Fernville Singing Competition! Animals of all species have come from far and wide to try their luck and show off their unique talents on this very mic. But you hear me run my mouth all the time. You're probably sick of me by now. Yeah! Beat it! Scram, Wimbang! Okay, okay. You don't have to agree so vehemently. I'm just doing my job here. Now, without further ado, let's turn this show over to the real talent. Here she is, fresh off an impressive showing on tryout day, Rhonda! Woohoo! Yeah! Go, Ranja! 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 You're smitten with that ape, Ace. Go splash some water on your face or something. Go, Ranja! I know where you're coming from. A long road and the money's gone. All the games were. 
where you played your part from the very start just to come this far you should know i believe in you every race you run you're my number one kick it up now and bring it up Show, good show! What a performance, huh? Let's hear it for Rhonda, everybody. Rhonda! Next! Okay, next up, you remember this guy. How could we forget? A new star is born! Well, let's not get carried away now. Making his way to the stage, here he is. Better get that name right, or you're out of a job, dear. Yeah, pay attention, cute guy face. What's my name, bird? Uh, Little, uh, I mean, Lil, Lil Wings, Fresh Quills. You're lucky. Get off my stage. Go ahead, go ahead and boo. This here's a new number. I just wrote it. For all y'all. Hit him where it hurts, Q. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Uh, uh, uh uh-huh, uh. I'm coming to your door, yeah. But I ain't fronting. I'm hot on your heels. Yeah. But I ain't running. Oh, what's he doing up there, boss? I don't know, Ace. I don't know what's happening. Oh, no. Oh, no! Man, your boy sounds terrible, Pintop. <laughs> Shut up, Riptide. Don't let this crowd see you laughing. They'll all join in like the bitter losers they are. <laughs> Stop it. Shut up. I said shut up! I'll tell you one thing you know it's true. Without my smile, you'll be sad and blue. But my 6-4 hatch is shiny and new. Go ahead, y'all dummies, and boo the cue. Oh! Q blew it! He's finished! His career will never recover from this. Never recover? It'll never begin, huh? I'm telling you, Marlin. Rhonda. Rhonda's your future. Let me find her and sign her up. Oh, shut up, Ace. Go talk to that gorilla if you want to. Take her out for a banana split. I'm leaving. I don't need to see any more of this disaster. Driver! Driver! Rhonda! Where's Rhonda? Now this is what I call entertainment. Boo! I'm the tower of power, the eagle of the hour. My melody's sweet, but your face is sour. Boo! Driver! Marlin, Marlin, where are you going? Mr. Pintop? Mr. Pintop! Oh, start me over. Can somebody start me over? I wasn't ready. That was just a warm-up. I wasn't ready. Wow, what'd we miss? Mimi, Marshall, you made it! Thank goodness! We were afraid you'd miss the whole show! Oh, we wouldn't miss this for anything! Mimi and I are ready to sing! Oh? Yes, Professor, your plan worked! Oh! And then some, from the looks of it. Shut up, all y'all! I said shut up! Well, in that case, what are you waiting for? Knock them dead, kids! Go Eminem! I know we're gonna be there someday I'll fly and chase the big clouds away I know I'll be there soon Oh, baby, be there soon It seems as though in the world these days it's getting real tough You have to put your foot down, just give yourself a bow Oh, baby, be there soon I know you want me with you, but this voice has got a hold on me. At least I 
place just for the summer It's right across the deep blue sea Wait and see Welcome to Fernville, where your 